Hey everybody, welcome back. In the last video, we ended with doing another run for Sarah. We've got, currently gone back to Cloverdale, which is where she worked before the apocalypse. And that's pretty much it. That's all the recap we need. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Aerie? Why is Aerie working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and th that was with weekly maintenance. And <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? Uh, someone who's qualified in IT, I can tell you that none of this should be working. And from that description, the front gate definitely shouldn't be working. Damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir, what? you know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. Motherfucker. My god, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh god, let us in! Is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. If they were controlling that camera, you think There's it would be in the back of the maintenance building. like but stuck they have that facing too? us. We don't know that they've just locked out anything. I mean, it's probably on just automatic. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocol. It's a glitch. Ah, there you go. Nice little corn farm going on. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. <laughs> Why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, and if Jim's in there, he's gonna Jim, let us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up? That was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? I was kind of expecting her to get shot. Get down. Mother fuck you were saying. Yeah. This world is top of anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see her point out that. Stay up here and give me cover of fire. Do whatever you can. I'll see you when it's clear. You get a clear shot, you shoot the goddamn spiders. Your voice is driving me fucking crazy. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. In this situation, am I the bad guy? Coming. Because they were living here quite quietly and peacefully. Right up until we came along. Alert. 
Alert. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Got to get and through the sky dish. Yeah, we're definitely the bad guys in this. Alert! Alert! 911 has been called. Police are it's on locked. their way. Hold on. Stand Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker, security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Alert. Repeat. Alert. Override, ID 2007659. Override. Security, security protocol the Alpha building. 761 has been overridden. Oh God, shut the fuck up already. They must not have locked out inner security. You ready? Yeah, this time, let me go in first. Warning. Hey, this time, we go in together. All trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is on. Oh, shit. Snipers up there on the roof. I see him. Alert. Alert. 911 has been Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. There's more of them! I see them! Alert! Alert! This is a level 4 alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. One more time. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security overrun, disable the Deadly fucking voice is authorized for use against all trespassers. <laughs> Ready? Warning. Deadly force is yeah. authorized. Jim, wait! That son of a bitch! Well, like you said, a lot's changed. Alert. Alert. Uh, I love how she's like, yeah, Jim, wait for me. But we've just shot our way through half of his people to get here. And it's like, oh yeah, he'll definitely wait and talk to you, buddy. Alert. Here. Alert. This is a level four alarm. If Multiple anything, anyone who ran fired. through that though are probably Security the sadest people in this game. Building. God knows she's fucked in the head if she thinks that's gonna work. It's clear. Same here. Like, it wasn't even, wasn't even an option to, like, lay down the guns and try to explain to them why we're here. The moment she got through that door, she was just like, right, shoot them all. Okay, it's clear. They're waiting for us in the atrium. Uh, I don't know what we're doing. Come on, let's try the door. Police are on their way. Sarah Irene Stand Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker. Alert. Your security Alert. has this been revoked. Is a Please see an IT administrator been for assistance. Secure personnel to the fucking bitch! Building. Hey, hey. Going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Oh yeah, you got one? Deadly force is authorized well, maybe? for use against all uh, like, Is there a way to that rooftop from Deadly here? force is authorized. Over here. Okay, there's a ledge out here. You should be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. You mean you should Alert. be able to climb up from Alert. there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna take them by surprise. Okay, yeah, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? Alert! Alert! The door's locked down. Remember? Oh, shit. Come on, come on, Adam. How did he forget about that? That's the main problem we're trying to circumvent. And he's like, oh yeah, the door's locked. Put your hand on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. 
Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? Yeah, let's go. Alert. Alert. Yeah, we are definitely the villains of the piece, I think. We're basically just gonna like go in there and shoot everybody. There's not, there's not even any any doubt as to try and like talk to them peacefully. She's like, yeah, we get in there, and we'll kill them all. Okay, hold on. Ready? Yep. These guys have been hiding out quite well before we got you. We're just gonna kill them all. Hey, don't take any chances. You kidding me? Alert! Alert! Nine one one has been called. Go. Police are on their way. Stand down, and you will not be harmed. Alert. 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 I know you're in there. Deacon Lee, St. John. ID five four two nine zero zero nine. What the hell are you doing? Deacon Lee, St. John. Welcome to Cloverdale East. I am. This Unit is your first like this. Please. I, I wouldn't trust you. Like, like, you sh like, you literally did shoot through half of his guys to get you, so why would he trust you now? You know? Said hands. All right, all right. Just, just tell me what you want. Okay. All right. He's clean. We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know the ones you shot in the head. I don't know what you're talking. About. <laughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? We just couldn't take the risk. Get up. What? Wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jim. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk.
Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. should have seen it when the first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? Sorry. David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're... we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone then he didn't listen he hacked the system he got behind the firewall he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something I don't classified know. project just he slow wanted, down and he wanted to be the next Edward Snowden you see he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing David Gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit and I didn't listen to him Deacon I told him that he was being paranoid and he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here well, I don't understand what do you mean I pieced it together in myself a little while later the night that I was stabbed I, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell and I went to, to go try and find David but he was already gone He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could understand. You it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Well, shit. But in to review that mission, like she was in no position to judge anyone else. She's working for a psychopath. Hey, I'm just uh, saying. Oh, hold on for a second. Sorry. Uh, the electric fences. How would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse. Is why. Okay. Um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. <sighs> you think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. Turn off the fences. Avoid power building, yeah, that's these a, evil crows. Okay. Can I make mo go? Ah! Oh! Wow. Wow. That was so quick. See, this is the thing with survival mode, because you can't see your health. Like, only if you have a really small amount of health does the whole screen go red. There's no indicator that you haven't got full health. 
Alright. No way. That's one. That does it. Burn you little bastards. Must be another one somewhere. But where? There it is. Over here, maybe? That tree looks dead enough to have a nest somewhere. There you go. Get in there. Now I just gotta jimmy that door. Got it. Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper... You know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick! When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No. I'm not gonna get into that right now. Dick? Yeah. Tell her. Tell her. Boozer. Boozer, Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good, listen up. Uh, Dee? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a... I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this... Did you find her? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right when you made it. I'm glad she did, too. Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's going to know the place. You come over here, you're going to find food. You're going to find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell? You know what? Listen, man, I gotta go, Ricky. Hi. But you know what? Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielsen Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. The Colonel wants to speak to you. Sorry, Captain, you're breaking up. Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. 
What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. long cutscenes as I turn the mic off. Enjoy! It's clear! Come out and eat something? Yeah, just a second. Everything I had is soaking wet. Warm again. Yeah. <clears throat> um, did you want to eat something or? Yeah. Yeah. God, I'm not even hungry. Yeah, neither am I. You call me here. I would say uh, good for them, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to say it in a sincere tone, so I'm not going to bother.
He has remarked if he saw them kiss just then. Because I'm sure he didn't even have a direct light of sight to the bike. All he saw was a walk off. Or it could just be he has better eyesight than I do. Who knows? A uh, remote bomb. Someone. Someone that I used to know. Custom accent. Uh, you need something? You got a problem. St. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell, huh? Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Sarah? Oh, God damn it. Uh, armed? Okay. I was like, no! Don't change this screen until I've found a decent gun. I might go for that one, see what it's like. Now that's a gun! Yep, thanks for the clarification. Oh yeah, upgrade the hell out of that thing, right? Right? Yeah. Right? Oh, and it goes for the upgrade. Nice. Alright, he's too chippy. Let's see it, Corporal. Hey, you sleep with that gun, am I right? Uh Right. You sleep with that gun. Ah, so much Russian made hardware on my back right now. What's going on? Nothing, the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. Could barely hold his gun. He didn't strike me as the type of person who could slit someone's neck. But you never know. Okay. Who am I going for? My eyes have opened. Nah, uh, I don't want to go for this one. I'll hey, save all Sergeant. the stuff I collect, the ears and whatnot, for the other camp. Because that's got bike upgrades. Alright, where's the main exit? Yeah. Hey, this way. I'll go there first. Hopefully someone gets in touch on the way. It's a real shame though that the, the, the Doc is dead. Doc Jimenez, Jimenez, whatever. He seemed like the only sane person there. Corporal St. John and Captain Curry. Other than Curry. Curry seems fine. This is Curry. Several patrols have already been sent out. Colonel's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. Captain Jimenez was the only doctor we had. Look, Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see. Radio me if you do. The corporal. The colonel wants Taylor alive. 
Copy that. Say John out. No, no, no. Oh, sniper. Oh, where? I don't see a sniper. Oh, shit, what the hell happened here? Uh, that might be worth having a look around. Okay, he's just talking random shit now. Seeing things that aren't there. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Before the shit went down, you talked about global conspiracy. Most would have laughed you out of the room. No one's laughing now. We know this went worldwide. We saw it in South America. What we didn't know is that the tribal commission had a I was shooting that thing. Ambushes around here, but yeah. Need a lot of help to start this war. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Uh. Don't believe the lies. Another neuro, uh, neuro injector, just what the doctor ordered. I'll take that. And health. I'll go for health. <laughs> here goes nothing. Yeah. Hey, you on duty tomorrow? Forgot to check the roster. Okay, this gun's pretty decent. Okay. Maybe not at range, but it's... No, it's like one shot, one kill. Near enough. There's another one. I got you now, asshole. Your days of setting ambushes around here are over. Bunker, yeah, I bet they had a bunker. Just gotta find it. Yeah, I don't want a bunker just yet, I just want to do this. That was fun though. Nice little test for the assault rifle. Oh, whatever that is. Machine gun, submachine gun. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? I can barely hear you. You're, you're cutting out. Where the hell are you? 
Crater Lake, uh, believe it or not. Hey, uh, I, I... It's good to hear from you again, brother. I uh, thought maybe, uh, thought maybe you were heading back. Uh, no, Boozer, not yet. It's, uh, it, it's complicated. Look, uh, I'm just... I'm just sort of checking in. To see how, you know, how everything's going. Good, good, Deke. Things are going good. You'll never guess who the old man put in charge of security. Wait, you? Yeah, you got it. I guess he figured, you know, with only one arm, I can only cause half as much trouble. Okay, yeah, like I said, I just, I just wanted to check in. Yeah, it was good to hear from you, brother. Yeah, you too. Okay, let's uh, go find Taylor. Survival. Mm, general. Okay, I'll go for one. Yeah, some of these I can't get. That'll come in handy. Yeah, that'll come in handy. It was just one, wasn't it? Uh, let's go find that bunker first. I think it's in the hatch. Yeah. There you go. No, you had one. I can use this. What secrets are down here? Hey, this is handy. A map. All marked up. Yeah, and that. Cool. Aspen Butte. Ambush Camp. Diamond Lake. Yeah. I guess they won't be needing it <laughs> anymore. Alrighty. Let's get out of here. How far am I going? Okay, not too far. Got it. Oh, come on, you bitch. as well as I hoped. Let me back it up. Back it up. Fuel. Hopefully no one's shooting at me. Because that's a lot of gunfight. Alright, let's get out of here. 
go and see what all the commotion is about. Yeah, it's impossible to track someone without the map in this environment. Like, the snow's white, the tracks are white. Yeah, I'm not having much love for this mode. these snipers. Okay, whose grenade did the most damage? I think he's dead. So I'd say mine. Yeah, the ultimate badass. I got a use for you. There's one more left somewhere. I think it might be inside. Taylor. 
that fucked up, man. They didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I, I don't want to. Hey, listen to me, Taylor. Taylor. You kick and you kick Wade. and you shit yourself. All those fucks standing at attention. And they're laughing at you. They're laughing at you. I don't want to hang. I don't want to Don't let them hate me. John. In here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. That's a shame. I did like Taylor as a character. He's probably the most likable person in this part of the game. Him and Curry. I like Curry. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. I can tell you right now, the Colonel's not going to be happy about this. He seems like Curie and Taylor seem probably like the most decent people. Despite the fact that Taylor killed the doctor and stole all the drugs from the camp. He's probably more decent than half the people at that camp, so... I mean, just all crazy people kill everyone. Hang their own. Hang anyone who doesn't want to go around killing anyone else. Or just wants to get away. Yeah, not a fan. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdose. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. Hey, leveled up. Uh, let's go and see what guns, shall we? How the hell did he survive? 
Trust increased. Uh, where are the guns? Corporal. Hey, you. I haven't seen you around here before. Name's Jacob D'Angelo. Everybody calls me D. St. John, Deacon. So, uh, you're the guy to come to for hardware? You got it, pal. You need guns? I got guns. If I don't have it, it was never made, you know what I mean? Uh, great. I'll keep that in mind. Anywho, uh, I have to call it an end here, because I'm nearing the hour mark. Thank you all for watching, and as I say at the end of every video, it would mean a lot if you could leave a like, uh, leave a comment down below, anything you fancy, and hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.